Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at something a bit different um, from what I usually bring here. So stay tuned for more information. Welcome back to my channel. Today I bring you this um, very small device I bought um, in uh, AliExpress. And um, what, what this is, this is basically a relay with a temperature probe. And um, besides in that, uh, this is programmable, meaning that you can set the range of temperature in which you want it to operate. There's two ways of work with this. You can use it for cooling or you can use it for heating. And some of you might be asking, for heating, uh, why do you need that? You need that especially uh, in those countries where, uh, where in the winter the temperature goes below zero and you need heating on, uh, on the network devices, uh, especially the outdoor ones, access points and routers, um, in order to avoid uh, getting frozen or condensation uh, because they produce, naturally they produce heat with the cold outside, they will start to condensate. So you need heaters inside the, the cases. And you, this can be used to connect, connect a, heater, a heater or to connect a fan. In this case, I have a small fan here connected. And this is programmable. I'm just going to show you. There's a, there's a, program, a series of programs here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0. So I'm just going to explain to you which, what uh, each one of these does. P0, I'll have uh, this in the description. P0 is uh, where you choose if you want it to cool or to heat. So what it does, if you set it to cool, it will operate within the, the temperature range you define on the device. If you set it to heat, it will operate outside the temperature range. That's basically what it does. Uh, the P1, the program P1 is the, um, the return value. So for example, if you set it this to... Um, let's say to 30 degrees and uh, as it goes down when it reaches 30 degrees it won't shut down immediately if you set a return you can say you return after 2 degrees so it will do 2 degrees it will lower 2 degrees in temperature and then only after it will shut down it's a bit similar what uh, the solar chargers do with the batteries once the battery has gone down they cut off but and they cut the load um, but the solar charger in order to start giving electricity to the load again you won't do it for example at 12 volts imagine you have a 12 volt battery it will do it at about 12.7 12.8 or even 13 uh, they have otherwise the battery wouldn't charge it will be like 12 volts charging discharging charging discharging so it gives time for the battery to get some charge and then it will give the load uh, electricity again. It's a bit. It's a bit like this. The return. Uh, P2 is the higher voltage. The pardon. The higher um, higher temperature. I'm gonna just P2 high temperature. I have this one set to 39. Okay. P3 lower 29 degrees. P4. Before this is the temperature calibration. If you knew the temperature was a bit offset, you could set it. P5 is the um, is a delay start. P5 is, for example, okay, you reach 30 degrees. I don't want you to start immediately. I want you to start after two minutes. And you can set this here. The maximum value is 600 seconds, I think. Uh, let's see, P6, P6. P6 is the high temperature alarm. In this case it's on and it's at 50. The high temperature alarm basically shuts down the um, shuts down the um, the circuit. It's like uh, you're cooling, you reach at 50 degrees, you're not working, shut it down. Basically what it does it in this case it shuts down the fan. It's like an emergency shutdown. So what we're going to do, we're going to heat it, let's see, as you can see it's with my hand, 
it's enough to heat it I need the lighter now because I'm not that hot <laughs> okay it's working at 50 it will at 50 degrees it will shut down see shut down I'm gonna cool it this is a little bit of what I have I have here when it goes below 50 it starts again the 50 was the shutdown alarm just gonna cool it down You're gonna see a little difference. See 29, 28. Although this is set to zero, it has one degree. It has one degree offset. The return is one degree difference. Although this is set to zero. Okay. This is a very small and simple device to work with. You just have the 12 volts here. And this two two leads this positive this is ground in my case I have a wire going to the ground to one of these contacts and then the fan I have the fan connected also here to the 12 volts and the ground of the fan is connected to this one so when this reaches the the temperature what it does it closes these two these two contacts it's like a switch it's very simple so hope you enjoyed it thank you for your time